Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies. Welcome to another episode of War Thunder. So today we're in the M19 in a replay as usual. Uh, with the graphics settings that I use, it's really difficult to run shadow play uh, while I'm gaming. It, it really kills my FPS. So uh, lately I've been using replays and I do apologize because I prefer live action as much as the next guy uh, but that's just what works out better for me speaking of what works the m19 is a very very reliable vehicle for playing the spawn points game uh, not only can you rush a cap as you see me doing here <laughs> which apparently I don't know did somebody not appreciate that you can also create a what's it an impromptu smoke screen <laughs> temporarily using your 40 millimeter Bofors cannons and now I am running solid AP shot and nothing else because I play this vehicle as a tank destroyer and my goal was to get into the Spitfire in this match because I've been having a ton of uh, fun in the American Spitfire LF Mark 9 peeking around the corner Spitfire another one of those vehicles that made its way around the world uh, hello there. Uh, what's the, the uh, 90 mil version of the Wolverine? Whatever that is. M26? Something like that. All the, the American designations. Kind of tough to, uh, <laughs> to figure out if you don't play them all the time. That's another solid vehicle. Although when you compare it to the, uh, sorry, the M26 is the medium tank. Uh, and that's the one that is actually better. Uh, you get more armor about the same mobility and the same gun ah ah my back my spine sorry about that just a little bit of spinal pain i was experiencing there uh, probably due to the fact that i sit on the floor all the time but moving on m19 doing its thing here i'm backing just so that i can have uh more options when it comes to retreat uh the acceleration is quite good on this little anti-aircraft platform uh, this so-called anti-aircraft platform probably saw more use in an anti-personnel role anyway oh there's a track we love seeing tracks because we can uh, pull a quick immobilize on the enemy at no cost to ourselves we see him angling uh, so I go for some shots but the jumbo boy there is just uh, pushing forward a little too much now just making sure to keep him tracked and get some hits uh, it always helps with RP and Silver Lions gain to spam those hits with SPAA ooh and we see an ally take a hard hit taking him down we're down to two buddies along with us here and uh, I may have blocked off the Sherman there a bit uh, if he needed to back but uh, well <laughs> we gotta think fast here uh, because it looks like there's two or three Panthers around the corner and those can mean some serious problems for us if we don't take them down. Looked like it was a Panther, Panzer 4, nope, Panzer 3M, and uh, a Tiger. All of which now taken down. Uh, we see a Sherman, even a second Sherman, capturing the point, which is always good to see as a third ally comes in. And we see aircraft attacking from above. Looks like heavy cannons. Yep, that's an IL-2. Uh, that may have even been the 37mm variant. Uh, if so, it's nice to see the amount of accuracy that one had uh, because my experience with the 37mm as we start getting some hits uh, that would have, of course, taken down the IL-2 if we were not using AP. Uh, however, you generally crit when you hit with uh, AP against aircraft in this uh, vehicle. And as I mentioned before, I get a lot more mileage out of it using it as an anti-vehicle or an anti-tank platform. Very fun gameplay as well. Uh, you try and knock someone's cannon barrel, then their track, uh, flank around, go for the side armor. Or, if you're lucky, you can go straight for the side armor in a nice side-on maneuver or even the rear and take your enemy down. Uh, now, let's get to the good part. We're kind of deciding whether or not we want to go through with the repair here or uh, jump out and hop into a Spitfire. But we ended up uh, sticking around 
and just seeing what happens. And lucky we did, we get some side shots on a panther. And he appears to be a smoking wreck at this point. So very nicely done. Moving on. You probably noticed that I turned off the UI. Every now and then I like to go for that more cinematic look. And if you're firing 40 mil Bofors again and again, oh, we take a hit. And now we're just trying to get ourselves into some cover. Uh, our crew is very, very badly damaged. Let's see, how do we... How do we see what the crew's doing here? Uh, I forget what my button is. Anyway, we're hurting. We're hurting. There we go. It's the O button. And you can see that we only have the gunner and driver left. We've got a long repair time here. And <coughs> things are not looking good for us, especially as uh, we get strafed by an enemy aircraft and finally taken down. But overall, with four assists, a base cap, and a kill... That is not bad at all for a vehicle that costs 150 spawn points. So we are very far ahead on the spawn points game. We can spawn in whatever we want to now. And we want the Spitfire. So let's go back into cinematic mode, as it were, as we just enjoy this beautiful... Are you going to crash? What? Oh, I'm, I'm so dumb. Have I mentioned that I'm an idiot? <laughs> I was playing around with the camera settings, and I have them set to the alt and F keys. Hey, guess what? Alt F4. All right, let's get back to where we were. <laughs> Once again, for the second time. <laughs> oh, man. I'm dumb. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Israeli camouflage on the Spitfire. This is a custom camo I found on Live.WarThunder and it's nice to see more shiny camos in the game. I'm a big fan of shiny things and a total weeb, uh, but I actually prefer to build my own anime camos because they tend to be a bit more flashy than what I would go for. Speaking of flashy, uh, the Hisparco Mark II. <laughs> uh, we're not quite... I promise I was actually aiming better when I was shooting here. Uh, it's the replay. It's not me, I swear. <laughs> but we do eventually take him down while demonstrating the great maneuverability of the Spitfire. A biplane, we better take him down before he turns, and that's exactly what we do. Uh, you do not want to let those I-153s get a taste of you. Uh, the Doe 335 arrow. Couldn't quite get him with the first pass there, and he decides to turn with us, which is, in effect, signing his own death warrant. Uh, the flight handling of the Doe 335 has been improved significantly over its history in the game of War Thunder. It used to be a total turd, and now it's decent, uh, but you really still rely on top speed more than anything else, as well as uh, acceleration. So you really want to fly in straight lines if you can, and we quickly shred a JU-87 for our fourth air kill. And in a few minutes, that I could have captured quite easily, <laughs> we take down four enemy aircraft. As we watch the burning pieces of that Junkers 87 fall to the ground, we feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. <laughs> so, there will be more enemies here, and I believe, yes, that is our BF-109 friend uh, coming in. We can tell this is an enemy because in our battle uh, during the live gameplay, we would have seen markers above our allies and no marker above this gnat here. So, we pull our typical strategy, which is to fly low and then zoom in underneath the enemy. Uh, being careful here not to put ourselves directly in front of his guns, just in case he notices us at the last second. And before we can get a good firing solution on him, he's taken down by the hand of God. Or at least his upraised little steeple. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> in the game of steeplechase, I suppose he won. He caught the steeple. Uh, <laughs> but that pretty much does it for this replay. Um... I do end up getting boom and zoomed on by a BF-109. I'm not sure what it was, if it was a G or a K. Uh, he was going very, very fast, though, almost jet speeds, and I couldn't even identify what he was for the first few passes. 
Um, but uh, he didn't manage to take us down. And if we go toward the end of the replay, as I speedy boy things up here just a bit, as I dilly dally here, enjoying my domination of the air, we'll get jumped pretty soon by that 109. And we just started getting some hits on him. There we go. We got jumped by a 109, and I can't tell quite what it was. And now that he's turning with us, I've identified him. And it's really difficult for me at this point to uh, track the enemy. Uh, so I couldn't quite keep track of where he was. If I don't know where he is, it never hurts to pull some hard turns. Uh, there he is coming in. He managed to get us with a few hits. Uh, probably, what do you think, with the machine guns? Or AP from the Menengashas. Or, sorry, AP from the 20 mils. And we're just starting to get some hits on him. We registered a few hits there. Just to make things even. At this point, once I'm on the tail of a 109 and he's burned some of his energy, I really feel confident taking him down. But the match ended before I could finish him off. Anyway, guys, uh, just sharing what's up with me. I've been having a great time. I'm having some decent matches here in the uh, in the Spitfire, and then here I was grinding out the AD4, uh, which I'm now satisfied with. Uh, I have my rocket pods. Honestly, shouldn't I have four more rocket pods? I mean, it's not like this thing is overloaded with this loadout, so why not fill out the wings? Uh, maybe what it had was like uh, Sidewinder missiles or something mounted there, so they're like, you know what, we're just not going to put those on yet. But maybe for a future date. Well, we'll just have to see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I've been having a blast. I'm working on my Pilot's Mark of Distinction 5. You can see here, and from one match, uh, using the Spitfire and the AD4, I was able to pick up the uh, the kill streak. So now I just need to destroy enemy aircraft and either win battles, get assists, or do some bombing. Uh, but I'll be enjoying that, and maybe I'll be able to connect with you guys in the chat on the Discord while I do right here in the Toshio Thunder Zone. Anything going on? Eh, uh, not a whole lot. <laughs> but as the channel grows, I'm sure that that will grow as well. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>